Do you remember living with Betsy Frank? Vaguely. I was really little when she gave me away to the state. Do you remember what she used to call you? She called me Andy. She called Franco Bobby. The two of us little... We, we used to spend a lot of time together. Do you remember her boyfriend, Jim Harvey? Yeah, of course, he used to babysit us. Yeah, well, he used to show a little special attention to Bobby. They used to go off together. What are you getting at? Jim Harvey sexually abused Franco. Then he started setting his sights on you. Franco tried to protect you, put you in the basement, but you fell down the stairs. Betsy thought Franco was troubled, and she sent you away for your own protection. You see, Franco wasn't so lucky. Franco was just trying to save me. He did save you, and then he stifled all of those memories and that abuse for many, many, many years. And then when he was able to process it all and live a life, a happy life, a life of his own, and then he was robbed of that life. And you're living it in his place. You don't have empathy for me, Elizabeth. I mean, you can't begin to know how I feel. Oscar is gone, and Drew somehow miraculously came back. The Drew that I love. I mean, can you blame me for fighting for him? I blame you for refusing to acknowledge it was Franco's life first. Well, the judge ruled in Drew's favor. I was hoping you'd be able to accept that and we could somehow make peace. I oh, don't want to make peace. No, you just want to ease your conscience about stealing my husband. And I can't give that to you. I won't. I should go. Yeah, that's a great idea. You were my rock. While Oscar was sick and I will never be able to repay you for that. And I just want you to know that I will always be grateful for your friendship during that time. I'm grateful that you shared that with me. I'm not sure what you want me to do about it. The right thing. You want me to sacrifice my life for Franco's life because he saved me when we were little kids. Listen, this is not your fault. It's not Franco's. Just ask yourself, is your second chance at life worth my son's first chance? your aunt Elizabeth. She's the one I was telling you about. Hi, Violet. It's so nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Can I have a hug? I would love that. It's exactly what I needed right now. 